and we've got G2 on that T side. Very different pistol. Already something fresh. Not wanting to rinse and repeat. Dupree pushed back after seeing that contact. And we've got a bunch of bodies ready to smash into this B site. Not a single player on any other part of the map, and the smokes instantly start cascading over the site. JKS at the front, looks down at his feet as Dupree blasts his head off. Monacy blind, can't get around that corner, but we see the two smoke grenades they use for the exit. It's, you know, cookie cutter clean. Find themselves in sight, down a man, and now very wounded is Monacy. That frag just on the money. No kits on the play. Gonna be a tough one. Dual Berettas for Zaiwu. Nice boost. Potential in the post plant, but that flank kind of unravels things. Monacy comes in with only one. Zywu's killing everybody. Wow. Those dual Berettas with three kills in the round. He just snuck up behind him, gunned them all down. Sayonara, suckers. Yeah, it helps to get that 5v4 right off the bat. So, of course, makes that retake entirely possible, even without a kit. And it does help as well to have Zywu just instantly find the two kills, especially coming in on the big flank, right? I mean, it frees up so much space. And takes out some of the hardest oh positions, God. actually, that you'd have to worry about. So, there he is. It's a threat. And, um, black bars. Ooh. <laughs> two, things, two things I hate. M4, A1Ss, and black bars. And overpass. Yeah, man. Anything less than 1440p, get it out of here. Convert you Whoa. yet. Hunter. He's moving fast. Yeah, he's already out mid looking for the contacts. One of two AK 47s, one of three rifles, if we consider JKS's Galilla rifle. Whoa, Hooksy has made a ton of space. Look at that. Slides all the way past them. Where does he go? Is he going to chill in this spot? Once he gets a frag, and he can get a rotator back into the site, but they're preoccupied inside of mid, so an opportunity for him to move even more. But at the same time, the bomb can get kind of rearranged here instead of. Splitting B through mid, they can just take it into full B, and now Hooksy gets his claws in deep. And at least in this situation, Team Vitality are now playing with the thought that it could Where, be this deep. Where's Monacy going? T-spawn to throw a nade. Oh, he, he, he seemed thought. worried about maybe someone flanking. Oh, Deagle doesn't deliver. Luckily, Nikos should be better. Finds Dupree. Considering that was a gush, not so bad. Still on 53 health here. Lots of firepower alive for G2. Dupree gives him space. He's looking to wiggle. Nico holding the side of that. Monacy comes through. That AK could be lethal. And it's not too far off the mark. Nine shots left in the magazine with two players to drop. Zyru and Dupree. And Dupree has had enough. He cuts that one down. We've got two survivors here off of what was the three rifle investment of G2's attempt. Would have been great to run that bomb back as fast as possible. You know, it came down to the moment where, okay, the Huxy gets compromised in his in his great position. And they do get a lot of kills, which is very fortunate. So I think overall it could have been a worse round for sure. But they definitely had odds to win there for a second. I'm not sure. Oh, almost excited. That. Loop it. It's a new CS dance. It's good to know that, you know, Counter-Strike jump scares are still a thing, even while you're coaching. Mm. Some people think this is an FPS, but uh, I think it's more of a horror game. Quadruple Desert Eagles. How come Hooksy doesn't get a deagle? That is a good question. He's too smart to buy a deagle. Such an unreliable weapon. I was going to say, he's been very self-aware of what he said and his challenge. He actually did have a deagle last round, but... This round he's not allowed. Hands off. Good early damage here to minimize any likelihood that something could go the wrong direction. Someone's, someone's getting set up for the ace here, and it could be Apex. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It has so many buddies already tagged up. Look at this. The meat grinder. Modesty comes through with the wall bang. Of course he still gets a kill. Now that's an M4 given over to Nico. Smoke goes deep down ramp. Zaiwu calls for help. It's him and Magisk on this A site versus four. They can't really hide what they're doing at this point. Zaiwu's on high alert. 
Ice is out the first two. Third player is about to come around the corner. That's the M4 that we're talking about, but Zywoo is just going to body bag each and every one. Uh, Zywoo beat Simple in a 1v1 recently. So you know what that means? He's the best player on the wheel. <laughs> it means he can aim. He's got the aim. It's not all looks. Who's the most notable person you've ever beaten in a 1v1? I have no idea. I don't know if I've ever... Who's beaten you in 1v1s? Oh, a lot of people. Stewie, Assateg. Good on you for trying. I beat Zipple. Well, that counts. Want a knife. That counts. Oi. I'm honestly looking for the tarp gap. Nice grenade. Lands right on him. Making things awkward here. A second volley of utility comes down, and that's Modesty down to the halfway point. But Nico crab walking his way into CT spawn. Wow, space created. Look at all this. Sphinx is winning a fight at the base of B, but Nico has just silently slipped behind them. I mean, they need to know. Mag Magis, he just runs out middle. He's thinking maybe a fight comes in from deep mid. Little does he realize there's one even closer. Are they going to end A or B, though? Like, I have because, no idea. Well, they're just getting kills. I mean, it's all the guys who are not lurking getting all these frags. And they'll find out at least half of the players left are on the B site. Bomb is here. Yeah. Modesty's low. Dupree seems to be on high alert. And Nico's coming in from mid, but is Dupree aware of it? Dude, this is a roller coaster. Apex picks up JKS. Into the 2v2 we go. Did this just get a little bit too lurky? I think we're about to find out. What the hell? Oh, and Dupree picks up another. Monacy's going to find him through the floorboards. It's Apex versus Monacy. Health advantage, Apex. Skill advantage, up in the air. Okay. <laughs> Flashbang's okay. ready. All right. Monacy's just going to walk it around. <laughs> Depends who you ask. <laughs> but Apex gives him the space for the plant. It's a fake first. And now he commits... What's Apex doing? Thought he would have heard that. He's going to the wrong site. Ooh. Uh-oh. What were you saying about? Hmm. Still winnable. Very much so. Again, low health for Monacy. Oh. Drops down. Scoped in, though. Apex throws the smoke out. Could make things weird. Monacy going to have to find that. Playing around the smoke. Apex has not stuck the defuse, but finds him in time, I believe. Yep. Jumps on top of that, and it's going to give Vitality the 4-0 start. Hey, that's nice. Maybe he maybe he went and got a smoke. Oh, that could have been. Maybe. Then he's 200 IQ, so that's the one that, that wins the round. Actually, fair point. It's potential. I'm not sure. Who knows? Um... I think this were an A to B. Could have caught someone off. And they did catch him. They caught him in middle, but it was JKS, JKS not, too, yeah. not Nico. So the idea was all there, but then it just got a little too stringy. Happens. Counter strikes a wild ride at times. That last round, clear example of it. Apex tries to jump down into the tarps. Nico's going to own him. And it's a 5v4 comfortably for G2 out the gate. Minute 30. Zaiwu on sandbags. Nico around the corner with bodies around him. Ooh, labored effort from Zaiwu, and it's a hooksy kill pickup. Now Magisk's chance to recover. But he also gets shaved down to 30 health in nearly an instant. Very comfortable push for G2, in fact. Two favorable fights. And they, listen, world is their oyster. Walk away 5v3. Yeah, I guess they could. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I feel like in a spot like this... You know, you take a risk, of course, on the flank. Um, Too easy. If they get up to... They, they got the sandbags clear as well. I feel like there's a lot of good reasons to just, like, hold on A ramp and, and take it. But, yeah, look what's happened. I mean, they've pulled out of the site, and now Vitality have just heavily rotated over towards the B site. And it's three it's CTs right here ready for this. Yeah. A ton of damage. Hunter catching Magisk. That's a good prime. But now Spinks Aye. missed off shots. Swinging that up, probably looking for the save. Little yeah. did they realize the gamble was going to net them a chance in the 3v4. I think one of the problems on Vertigo for T side normally is like once you get like all a ramp control like that, it's really scary to go all the way back because there are so many places that a CT could have snuck into if they went down the ladder or mid, if they decided to push A or whatever right after you, or if they pushed down B because they thought you were going A. 
so it's less often that you see people walking it back. And also, because you have to walk the entire way, it makes your timing very obvious. So a good call from Vitality to try to follow him back, take some kind of risk. It doesn't pay off this time. And it nets G2 their first round. Oh, wow. The thickness on that nade. Hooksy's almost dead to the second. But it's an opening kill nonetheless. Magisk. Rough start. Getting pummeled. Very walky, very lurky here from G2. As they sit and wait. They are up, and as we can see, it's an anti-force. There's a lot of armor here, but Apex and Sphinx just on deagles. Molly on the short player. Nice. Nico, he's going to get forced wow, in. He transitioned that really well. And they get a kill. It might be worth it. We'll, we'll see. They're going to start to move up now. 30 seconds remain. And Apex drops a very interesting smoke. It goes a little bit far. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Thought he did that pretty well. Or is it oi, oi, oi? Yeah, on the receiving end, it's oi, oi, oi. Dupree. Just waiting for his fight to come from short, but damn, G2 playing down the clock. Time whittled to near nothingness. Bomb stopped. Hooksy comes in with the trade frag. Eight seconds. Zaiwu just has to stop they this. They the bomb. still didn't pick it up. Now just do not die to Monacy, and it's good. Good. Ooh. Subjective, but all that matters, Vitality picked that up. 5-1. Yeah. Ooh. What's going on? That's that. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah. Well, normally that's a good thing, right? But, um... Like, the, yesterday, I think one thing that was for sure was that they did a good job of actually not allowing the rounds to bleed down on the clock, right? I think I brought that up, that, oh, this is inter interesting. You know, G2 finally not running out of time. This keeps that French flair around. I used to be an also. Honestly, wow. very quickly right into it. Sphinx will find a recovery kill, though. Oh, it looks like he tried to sneak Hunter into the corner. Underneath him, yeah. Yep. It's a couple aggressive moves from Spinks down on the bottom of B. But they do see the three B push, so they'll take a tempo here on the A ramp and skip some protocols. I was sitting comfortably up here on short. Gotta be careful when Zai was floating around. Gets the insta kill onto Monacy. That's two kills now. No third. Magisk shaves Hooksy off the back of that setup. They know JKS is low. That's two and a half frags in from Zaiwu, and Magisk using the Fomus to end it. Yeah. Very nice game so far for Vitality. And uh, we saw in the pregame interview, Apex said, not really concerned with winning or losing. It's so early. We just want to, I guess, show that we can play well. And I think they're finding out that is the case right now. And man, insane shots here from Zaiwu. Sharp. <laughs> not just an offer, that's for sure. <laughs> Spit all over his mouth. Okay. Happens. Tough spot for G2 now, but they've got the nades lined up. Try to bounce them off the wall. There's nobody on the receiving end. Apex pressing up against this smoke. Oh my god. Oh, finds one. Hunter in the corner. That's a ton of damage at the very least. But Apex, a one and done. Let's see that Deagle get unleashed. No, sir. Nico's going to walk away. So, Monacy grabs that Fomus off the dead body of Apex. And G2 with the redirection. Sphinx is playing B-Site very far back, so this is the right call. Nice amount of space if all they're hunting for is a bomb plant. They're calling out the rotations back, though, very often here. Oh, whoa. Just in time, the gun comes back up. And with it, two players go down. JKS is Tech-9 on the recovery. Beautiful dink into Magisk as he tries to close that gap. We've got Nico in a one versus three. Magnificent op clutch yesterday versus big. Now he'll try it with the French rifle. Never mind. Oof, good thing he didn't pick that up while he's getting pushed. Reloads in. 
bomb going down. Dupree up the ramp, though. As he heard that bomb being planted, he decides that's his time to strike. A 7-1 start for the Vitality CT side. Man, can't ask for more. Looking super solid. AK is here for Vitality as well, essentially. Good chance to build up some money. We'll see what it costs them if they keep it rolling. Apex uh, playing dangerous games on, on this short side, but... He got shredded away by Nico once. Picked up those kills versus pistols last round. And it's good damage. Deep versus Monacy and JKS. Quiet down again. Off angle from Sphinx. Not every day we get bodies up there. Apex is actively checking this and White. will eventually see something, but it doesn't take any damage. Oh, with the oh, boost. boost. But oh. doesn't work. Man, that looked really good. <laughs> I'm curious what that looks like from G2 side, whether they spam it because it's smoke or whether they spam it because. Yeah, it's a very evident one. A couple tap attempts from Nico. Off the mark. Sphinx burns Hooksy. That's short. Held off for the time being. There's no power behind this push. No, sir. No, they had one person go up, but they just back to lingering. However, meanwhile, mid walkout from JKS. Hunter right behind it. They're going to go for the B split, and that means it's going to be Dupree only. Yeah. Now, if Bomb gets cut off, right? It's Monacy and Nico down beneath. It's a 2 2 split with Hunter just flirting around in middle. He won't deliver the kill. Does JKS get vision? No. Unsuspectingly. Walking into Dupree, who lines up the double kill. Oh, Jayazi no. comes from behind, oh. and Dupree shuts it all down. The one-man army in the B site. Wow, they almost made that split happen. And that's tragic because, uh, you know, Hunter's waiting for that rotation to come in. Loses that duel, and then Dupree flicks it around. I mean, well played to push up to the wall. Get his first two kills. The last trade should have been there, right? There's an advantage for that T coming in but it's just not enough time. I'm surprised they thought that was so clear. Like, yeah. with 15 seconds left, surely you have enough time to just check close. I mean, it is... I literally call that spot Dupree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a reminder why. Maybe Modesty's operating under the assumption that JKS has come deep enough to see it. I don't know. But either way, Dupree gets away with a robbery. Not the first time, right? Throw it back to when he owns Hunter point blank from Quad. But regardless, that's done. This one's alive. Alive and kicking as Hooksy opens up. First kill's his. He's the front runner from short. We won't find the second kill as Magisk recovers. But we do have G2 close to this A site. Yeah. Right now. Poor Nico. Naded. Vitality a little nervous, but suddenly they're kind of back to chilling again. Yeah, I'd be nervous too. Hooksy all of a sudden, you know, right there with you. Yeah. On your side of the site. They're going to do the walk up. They won't get punished. In fact, they come out beautifully. Okay. Two for Magisk, one for Sphinx. A total collapse on the ramp. And now Hunter with his hands full goes for the clutch, but it's nine for Vitality. There's all these situations where there's like a little bit of space. There's like a good amount of pressure and then the pressure gets alleviated and then there's just space and then Vitality within seconds. They organize again. They get their flashes together. They look comfortable. Like right here, they look really scared because again, Hooksy. You know, he came up there so fast, but right after that, they just calmed down, immediately transitioned into this push. Uh, obviously, you can die You can die doing that, but they got their kills. Yep. Good to say, it's, it's a play that we see teams get punished for, but yeah. when the firepower is that sharp, you know, those were all insta headshots. Yeah. We're talking about a 9-1 game, right? Vitality, they just don't feel like they can lose right now. Dupree, 13 kills deep. Magisk starting to recover from what was a slightly slower start. You see that his aim is very much turned on with those headshots on ramp last round. Hunter and JKS down beneath. Nico solo A. Two top mid as well. So just playing out the map. Seeing what they can find. So far, it's just damage versus Hooksy. Mm. Make that Nico too. Chance and a miss as we cross the minute mark. And actually a lurk here. Let's see if he gets by Sphinx's crosshair. Nope, but he gets a dink. 
Apex. Getting lethal. Ooh, two kills. Any hope they had at just bursting up the ramp for chance? He's all shut down. Vitality show no weakness. Yeah, they really don't. All their gaps are covered. Yeah, it's being sometimes on B, sometimes it's just Dupree. Either way, they're doing pretty well. Vitality growing with confidence. Shrinking the map more and more every round. Finding good times to push. And the Deagle rounds are not exactly playing off. And there's just a distinct lack of kills right now, especially for G2. Next has, of course, going up against his former team. Ooh, sneaky. Nico catching Saiwoo off. Good lineup, though, for Apex. Almost kills Hook you can see in the background. They said, uh, screw it. Let's push. He is so open, so free for the taking. What is this? Yeah. That is that is not bombs here. But they're actually uh, oh, wait, what? Apex comes around the corner, confirms bomb, op swap. And because they're also cautious, G2 are kind of giving time for Sphinx to maybe get to B if needed. Yeah, they it's weird to see the map where there's just no one there, so naturally they're worried about it, but Sphinx will start to move back in. Two Danes don't see anything on the A ramp. Sphinx with a chance to shine. Hunter's close. Now we're in kind of a retake situation. There's still a good amount of utility, especially the smokes that can make the biggest difference here. Dupree out fast. Damn. Really wants that fight. Hunter tucked in. Sphinx gets the trade, but a good amount of damage brings Sphinx down to 20. Monacy in the pocket. First op shot connects. And Magisk loses his mark. Now suddenly Monacy reposted, but shuffling his feet back down the ramp to try and play the post. Smoke oh. a little short. Happens. Oh. Well, luckily he's got two. An extra layer of cover per chance, but JKS, no sir. Gonna find it, and with it, we've got G2 with a second round win. Yeah, so they make it happen. Another really rambunctious round with a lot going on. But that early trade, I guess, made things a little easier with Nigo coming up the ramp. They traded him out, and... Once again, Vitality have been very comfortable at pulling the goalie, which is not something you see all the time. And in a couple of situations, they've directly countered the place that G2 want to end. And in this spot, it isn't the case. So in the retake, it's not possible. Vitality lose one, but they, there's still a you know, cavernous difference between their score line and Vitality's. Ooh, Nade with Hooksy's name on it. Dupree hesitated with that throw, too. So the timing actually works out better. Ooh, we saw what happened last time Nico pulled this off. Man, the amount of times they're leaving a position completely open here. Vitality. They're running some risks. Look at these creepy crawlers. Sphinx is going to get blindsided. I, I mean, total gap in the defense there. Exploited by Nico and the fact that Dupree can't capitalize, leaves JKS locked in as a shoe-in for mid. So from one round to two rounds and two rounds to three. Off of the back of just two players crouch walking through middle yeah. with zero resistance. Zero resistance. No information here for Vitality. I'm not surprised. You know, Sphinx will just die in that spot. He, he's one of the two players that could be covering mid in this position. So it might have been of his own volition that he doesn't, but ultimately that costs him the round. JKS freed up to go hunting. But the woos never too far. First, it kind of looked like a frustrated G2 a little bit. But now they're kind of getting away with some of their game plan that they've just been trying again and again. And for Vitality, they're starting to look a little bit weird in the sense of... I guess at first, it's you either look like you're mad or you're a genius when you leave a site open, and then you pick the right site to stack in. But here's an example of when that doesn't work. And Xtaz is back up on his feet, feeling better. Who are you? Everyone has a price. Not Mahone. Yeah, Mah Mahone has a price. Mahone has no price. Mahone's a known gaslighter. Smoke on ramp. 
Ooh, nice nade from Nico. A homing missile for Magisk. We got Dupree doing his own thing at B. And a lot of bodies starting to group up, so Dupree better get away with something. Yeah, good chance. Oh, that gap. Nicely Ooh. done by Dupree. Playing that superbly until Monacy peeks in and cancels him out. Of course, this is all audibles. Nico's going to hear that rotate scrambling for the B site, so this one's not done yet. Oh, man, the rotations are so crazy. Like, they make so much noise. It's not the first time above Nico they've done this. And they're they're not doing it all together. They still have left Zywu here to tend to the A site. 2-2 two, two split. See how middle comes into this. We've seen the middle to B situation. Hooks, he just going to try to late lurk it, maybe? It's just a fake, huh? He's got Apex locked into the B site. He's got Sphinx preoccupied under boost. This actually draws Magisk back, so Zaiwu very much on his own, but also very much working with the time. Down to 20 seconds, cuts off Nico, and he knows he can just keep them off this bomb site. He's got it in the bag. Monis is going back towards short, wow. but Zywu, I mean, that first bullet accuracy, yeah. just total ownage. And while Hooksy's throwing out all those grenades, he never even has a chance to rotate into the site. That is a one-man army named Matsu. Yeah, that was beautiful. Another rifle clip out of Zywu from a similar position that we've seen earlier on. And I think you, you put it as plainly as it needed to be. First bullet accuracy literally has a duel where the other person knows where they are and comes through and hits this just instant shot that you can't do anything about, like, really. That's even versus Nico. Like, how are you supposed to fight back against that? Yeah, and there is this, there is a dead zone uh, behind yellow in this area that no nades come to, pretty much, right? You never molly out that spot. You zone people into that position and then try to trade them by swinging. So Zaiwu knows that, and I think for that reason, he felt, like, pretty composed. He stood there, perfect crosshair placement, wasn't shaken. Yeah, if there's one thing Zaiwu has, it's that composure. I think Nico tried to sneak the smoke. Oh, Ooh, Monacy finds one. Must have been a gap there. Nico also pressed alongside the smoke. It's going to have to be Magist to be picturesque with these kills. And while he does get the insta headshot onto Nico, that's the fall of Nico in back to back rounds. It's a four versus two post plant for G2 to try and close out this T side. Their map pick, and it does not go as swimmingly as they would have hoped. But at least for us, the spectators. There is no reason for what's left of Vitality not to go for this retake, so we'll get the 2v4 attempt. Bomb nearing the halfway point, and Spinks got a lot of corners to check. It's JKS holding it alongside Yellow Tarp. Two players in the middle of the ramp, and Hooksy on the bomb site. He'll be first contact versus Dupree, but there's the first one, nice and easy. Time now becomes a nuisance. If not, the end all versus Vitality. Sphinx has two kills. Dupree's trying to come through, but they get all four kills. It's simply a matter of time. And with it, a fourth, at the very least. Uh, but those aren't the Danes we're talking about. Let's hone in on Magisk and Dupree. And Sonic standing behind them. Vitality piecing together an excellent CT side here on G2's map pick. Monacy. Ooh, okay, he's got nothing on Sphinx. Oh, little 180 action. Sphinx with three Glock kills. Exhilarating. Oh my god. 17 and 8. Oh, those first two. Joey, I want it super slow-mo. I want the first to the second. But maybe JKS can even do it dirtier. He's got three players coming at him. Little nade destined for Zywu, the bomb plant. JKS comes oh. through with two. He's on. That's it. But can he topple Sphinx? The same guy that kicked this off for Vitality. We know what that Glock can do. Smoke grenade goes down. No kid on the play. It's a long 10 second defuse. He's hoping that Spinks will give him the fight, but Spinks keeping this one ice cold. And unfortunately for JKS, he just can't find the damn fight no matter how hard he wants it. It is Spinks with the second pistol wrapped up for Vitality. Damn. Couple of nice shots there, but uh, yeah, Spinks, man, uh, he stole the show this round. Beautiful round overall. Fast action shots here with the Glocks. And this second Oof. one, ridiculous. <laughs> like, I mean, at that point, poor Hooksy. Seriously. You know, the guy's trying to keep up. 
and you're gonna drop bombs on him like that. Nice from JKS to to catch the first kill before Zaiwu comes jumping over. With a kit, he pretty much has that. With Felt the smoke like it. down, it's hard to hard to yep. win that first ping. So yep. indeed, don't know if there was one down there that he was looking for, but if there was, he couldn't find it. Beautiful replays, guys. Thank you. We keep going. Mac tens for Magisk and Dupree. Hooksy. Looking for this fight. Tags Apex for 20. Nearly dead. And Hooksy. Well, he does get the kill. Won't get away with his life. Sphinx is simply too crisp. Still worth. Nico's turn. I think we won't see Vitality walk back in this situation. I don't know if there'll be any more clues for them, though. As G2 have cut noise. And JKS says, screw it. Let's join the party. Let's see what happens on the A site. Dupree looking for the other boost at the base of Crane, but this stack's yet to be spotted. Ooh, a little tease for Nico. There it is. Ooh, what a shot. Just owns Zaiwu. One bullet down. Mac 10 is the front runner, and Dupree actually dies to the smoke spam. JKS getting in the damage. Magisk and Sphinx. They're missing a Molly for jump up. Two left here. No nades now. Oh, nice flash. But unfortunately, it blinds the CTs at the same time, and we still have Magisk alive and kicking. He gets back down the ramp. He loses Sphinx right thereafter. At Ooh. least Sphinx brings one with him. Nico now hands on an AK, though. And as he takes Hunt, oh, it's a team kill. It's Not a ideal. family kill. That's even worse. Blood Brothers covered in their own blood. Magisk is waiting for this chance to peek, falls down, plays it perfectly, and Nico gunned down by the SMG. Another win for Vitality. Trust no one, folks. Trust no one. That is close. Well played from Magisk. What a cr what a crazy situation with the flash that came through. This shot from Nico, underrated. Really nice one. And then they almost had enough chaos going on to take advantage of the fact that they were all curdled up here behind the smoke. But ah. wow, right in the toes. Honestly, it looked like it was between between them. Pretty unfortunate situation. <laughs> oh, oh. I think it's you. oh, that was it. Yeah. Mm. But now, unfortunately for G2, time's running out. Rounds are running out. Comparing this day, G2, to the last one, kind of weird, man. Oh, that's a, cool, that's a cool nade. Poor JKS. Do the arc on that bad boy. JKS trying to put up numbers. Got that stray deagle shot through smoke last round. Zaiwu. Even his frag grenades are headshots. <laughs> yeah. So here, a much more standard state of affairs. Gathering on the ramp, waiting on the ramp, and then taking the A site if there's no pressure. Just never a bad idea. It's more classic style of vertigo. What could possibly go wrong? Hook seat, maybe, with a P250. No armor, of course. And losing his teammates on the bomb site. Unfortunately, he is swarmed from three separate directions. It's going to have to be something magical from Monacy. 14 to 4 off the back of this easy pickup. Mm -hmm. And what Apex said is still true that, you know, it's more of a major change for G2 and changing the IGL, where it's just yeah. going to be, there will be bad days, there will be weird days. And uh, if they can build brick by brick in the long run, of course, the, the hope is that, you know, the team will be better. But uh, in the meantime, the fact that Vitality only had to change out Masuda for Sphinx which seems just like more like a clear upgrade than uh, what G2 have done. Of course, they have more of a base. Yeah. And I think on the one hand, it's also something that Apex said. They're, they're the team that has a base that's nicer, but G2 are the team that are hard to prepare against because they changed their IGL and made more of a radical difference, even with all the rail switches, all the CT side changes and everything like that as well. But that can give and take, of course. That really feels like right now it's just that, you know, plug and play upgrade. What is that? How is that lineup? I mean, he hit him exactly in that Tell position. Me, man, it's just Zywood thing. <laughs> That's so crazy. Absolute scenes. 
know, kind of touted as the best roster move of the offseason, of course, was Sphinx 2 Vitality. And they said all the right things to buy themselves time if things don't necessarily mesh perfectly right out of the gate. But I feel like today we are getting a very, very strong showing from Vitality. Yeah, and Sphinx has been good. There was a one game on Inferno where it was a little bit strange, but he even brought that back to going positive where he had like a couple of kills on T side. And then as soon as they switched to CT, he went up to like 18 and 14 or something. So there has just been no red flags from Sphinx so far, I feel like. I was doing a content piece with Kerrigan where we were talking about roster swaps and I believe it was him who basically, you know, amounted this Sphinx move to kind of them getting twists. Them getting robs, getting that last piece, you know? Yeah, yeah, Just I can see that. The final little move, that little added... That little last, you know, perfect piece that just springboarded them to the whole other level. So, you know, that is what Vitality are trying to do. Compete with the FaZe Clans, the Navis. And if you can't get a simple, then you get yourself a Sphinx. Molly missed here on the sandbag, so that allows Hoopsy to actually shoot over top of a Molly and stand in the same spot. So that's a big mistake here from Vitality. And Hooksy's not done yet. No, no, he's on for the multi-kill. He's got the advantage. Uh, oh, uh, well. Well, an advantage yeah. doesn't always mean much. That's true. Poor guy. Spink's gonna lurk this one through middle. Timing is looking excellent here. He's just ahead of JKS, so that little two-second pocket is exactly where Sphinx currently resides. And while Hunter shuts down Dupree at the front of the site, JKS is going to rotate right into Sphinx, and there's another wow. quick little 90-degree snap. They've got the bomb down, and Magisk wall bangs away a 15th round for Vitality. It truly feels like they can do no wrong. Yeah, the kid is disgusting, man. Those shots were great. And this... Lurk felt a little bit more pragmatic, like looking at the G2 Lurks we saw in the first half, they got all the space, but there was no real kind of cohesive concept behind it. Whereas here, it's like simple. When they've taken a ramp, they wait, they take control of it, they exit on the site. When they've lurked through mid, they go towards A in this position. It's coming down to the wire, but Sphinx is already here, ready to kill them as they're coming in. They're going ahead with the plant as well, so they're just more moving more like a unit. He wanted to get aggressive. Breeze Molly makes that a little harder. They're not all in on this. Tease back up ever so slightly. Hooksy, he'll get caught. Kind of felt like he was stuck between two worlds. Did he want to go deeper? He lost the support on the backside of the site. And then Nico kind of comes back, so Hooksy does too, and it cost both their lives. I mean, this is a total domination at this point. A 16-4 by the looks of things. It's going to take a pop-off with a lesser weapon from JKS or Monacy. Unfortunately, from that astounding Dust2 map that we got out of Hunter versus Big to a rather mediocre half map from him here versus Vitality. And sure enough, piece by piece, this is just Vitality showing they've got that superstar potential. 